Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugsters channel. I'm Brugly, as always, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 42, or The Horizon. If you like natural disasters and super volcanoes, then this level is probably the one for you. Hope you enjoy it, and let's get into the explanation. Also, apologies for my voice. I don't know why it sounds like that, but I'm not sick. I don't know. Hope you enjoy. So Backrooms of a 42, or The Horizon, with a Y, is classified as a Class 5E difficulty, which means that the environment itself is the most dangerous part. The level looks like a huge expanse of thick forests and fields, with one singular massive volcano in the very middle of it all. The entire level is extremely volatile and chemically, and the atmosphere is very, very corrosive and dangerous. The forests on this level are so thick and the canopy for the trees is so thick that almost no light reaches the actual ground. But somehow, all the plants and stuff still grow even without light, which is kind of weird. Now, since this land is so thick with trees and other vegetation, it's kind of hard to explore and map out, and the environment itself has a bunch of really weird features that make it even more dangerous than a normal forest, but I'll touch on those later. As I just said, the atmosphere is very reactive and because of this you shouldn't bring any fire or like make a torch or anything like that but you can bring a flashlight and in fact you're gonna need a flashlight because it's so dark even if you just so much as start a fire with a single spark the area around it will turn into like a fireball and then will explode a few seconds later and cause everything to catch on fire in the vicinity of it so not fun there's also frequent acid rainstorms that happen on this level which can last for pretty long periods of time actually. Obviously the rain is toxic and if you come into contact with it, it can burn you or even worse and you definitely should avoid drinking it or having it get inside your body at all. Time as we know it doesn't actually work on this level and if you bring a watch or a clock to here, it'll just freeze and stop working. And no one really knows why, but just a weird quirk of the level. The best place to hide during the acid rainstorms are these random caves that are dotted in the hills of the level. Since the ground is so rocky and hilly, there are several caves, so if it starts to rain, you gotta run for one of those because you don't want to get burned. The temperature on the ground level is actually cold. It's so cold, in fact, that you could freeze, and it stays at around 32 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 to 8 degrees Celsius, so you're gonna have to bundle up with clothes in order to not get hypothermia. In contrast to that, the temperature above the trees is so dangerously hot and can reach up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 67 degrees Celsius. So I guess it's kind of good that the trees are guarding you from that heat. And that huge volcano in the very middle of the level is always active. It's a stratovolcano and the base of it has tons of jagged lava areas where there's pools and there's hardened lava and magma and the entire landscape around it is so volatile and hot and blowing up and steaming and stuff like that that it's just very dangerous to even walk on. There's also a bunch of earthquakes in this area at the base uh, because of the magma underground. And that constant activity of the volcano releases heat and gases into the air which makes it so dangerous to breathe or to light a fire since it's literally just flammable. And it's not recommended to stay here long without the right gear like a gas mask or something like that. The volcano also randomly shoots rocks out of the middle of it into the air and they'll just land randomly in the forest. These things are like huge boulders that are on fire and they're very very dangerous considering that it happens a lot and you can't really see where it's gonna land because the trees block the sky so you better hope you're not under it when it falls. So now I'm going to talk about a special effect on this level called the Horizon Effect. Pretty much, it's a really weird anomaly that happens when you get to the level for the first time. If you walk far away from where you enter, you'll be rewinded back kind of like a movie or something. And when this happens, it means that you hit the border of the level. So the horizon is the border. And once you hit the border and get teleported back to the spawn, you'll start to feel like you're going crazy and start kind of acting irrational, kind of like you just drank alcohol or something. But after a few hours, this effect will slowly go away. But for those hours of you having the effect, uh, you think you're losing it. No one knows why this effect happens or why it happens just when you first get to the level, but it's the backrooms, man. Anything goes. There's barely 
any other life forms on this level besides the plants and trees, there's actually only a few little mammals and insects that live in those caves from earlier, and they live far away from the volcano because they're not trying to get roasted by lava. So other than those giant volcano rocks that get launched into the sky, there are other anomalous things that happen here. There are random lava pools that are just pools of lava. There's acid rain that I talked about, which can burn through the leaves and the trees. And the trees themselves are also considered anomalous because they can thrive in this toxic environment somehow, and the chemicals tend to not bother them, even though they catch on fire sometimes. Now, there's no real documented entities that live here, just those small mammals and insects, but there might have been a race of creatures that went extinct. There's some evidence to support this, but no one really knows. There's just one base here called Meg Base 42, and it has 12 people who live and study the level here, but it's so volatile and hard to explore that they can't really do much, so they're just trying their best, I guess. To enter this level, you can noclip from level 41, and to exit, you have to go through one of the exits that's been found. It's really dangerous, but it's the only way to leave, and pretty much, you have to jump in a lava pool. I know, that's crazy, but that's the only way to get out is just jumping feet first into a big pool of lava at the base of the volcano. Now for a short second, you will feel pain and you'll feel a burning sensation like you just jumped in lava, but eventually you'll wake up on level 93 and you'll be all right for the most part. I still would be terrified of just jumping into a pit of lava, but Hey, whatever. And yeah, that was level 42, aka the Horizon. A pretty crazy level filled with forests and mountains and volcanoes and volatile air. Just another day in the back rooms. Also, if you missed the announcement at the end of the last video, I just launched a brand new channel called Spoogly. Pretty much, it's an SCP readings channel where I go over some SCP lore and entries, stuff like that. I'm uploading the first video when that channel hits 1,000 subs, so if you like that stuff, go check it out, subscribe, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you all for watching the video, thank you for supporting me, uh, make sure to go check out my second channel down below, I have almost 20,000 subscribers over there, I really appreciate your guys' support, and thank you so much for the support on this channel, the Brugly channel, we've gained over 20k subscribers in the past 7 days, that is absurd, thank you all so much, remember I'm buying an entire Backrooms themed outfit at 500k, that's the shirt, the pants, the socks, the hat, I'm getting the entire thing and then I'm making a video with that outfit on. It's gonna be a super fun time, help me get to 500k by subscribing if you want to, it's free. Check the description below for any links you might want and make sure to check out uh, my other videos if you're interested. Thank you for watching and supporting me, I appreciate you all and I will see you later, peace.